Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to the channel. My name is Jake Venner and today I am stoked because we are gonna be taking a look at a rap music video. We're gonna be editing the music video pretty much from scratch and I'm gonna be breaking down some really cool tricks and tips that you can use on your own music video edits. I just wanna give a quick shout out to everybody here who has participated in this community. We just passed 6,000 subscribers and I am stoked on that number, but I know we got a long ways to go and a lot of work to do. Everybody who's liked and commented and hit me up on Instagram. I really appreciate it. Recently, I've been working on updating all the packs on my website, which if you've bought the packs already, you will have gotten an email message where you can download the updates for free. If you buy anything off my website, whether that's transitions, overlays, anything like that, you get free updates for life. Anytime I update the pack, you will get a link for a free update. I've also been doing a ton of client work. I've been editing a lot of music videos, probably more so recently than any other point in my life and today I'm actually gonna be showing you guys one of these edits for an artist named Slay I'll leave her links down below if you're excited about learning how to make your own music video slap in a shorter amount of time hit the like button down below and let's get into the video this music video is mostly just one takes there's not a lot of b-roll now there's no effects there's no transitions on this edit yet so that's what we're gonna be focused on today let's get a taste for what this music video is looking like and sounding like Do it. I'm the shit I just got it like that being strong was my only choice I had to fight back yeah we already you we stay in full attack that's a fact shake a nigga he ain't stab you in the back that's your whack you only fuck with me cuz I got them racks yeah you fit a great brim I can never cap the first thing I'm gonna do is just add some motion to these kind of static shots so in this shot right here the artist isn't really moving and the camera isn't really moving either so it's just a very flat still shot so in order to add a little motion to this what we can do is either click on the clip come up here to motion and keyframe the scale and position but personally I like using transform if you've been watching the channel you know why it's because I like the fact that it has some camera blur that you can add on to make it look a little more realistic so for this shot let's zoom out so we're gonna make a scale keyframe I'm gonna drag that to the end at 100% and then we're gonna scale in here let's go to like 140 and then we're also gonna make a position keyframe drag that to the end and then drag drag it up so we're zooming out from this point right here back to the original so it's gonna zoom out slowly like that just adds a little more motion into the edit and then we can also just turn up the shutter angle which just gives it a little bit of camera blur on the edges let's just add some motion so let's drag a little transform onto this let's do it from scratch let's hit a keyframe at position and scale here at the beginning let's zoom it in move the position point over and that's gonna automatically create these two keyframes move it over so now we're zooming in with this clip right here, right? So it looks pretty nice. This clip right here is actually only a few seconds, but this subtle zoom still makes the shot look way more dynamic. I think what I'm gonna do is just turn the motion blur down just a hair. And then now when we play this back, it'll look pretty smooth. Space smoking on the good runs, put it straight to the face in a rave, dodging Jake's trying to get this fucking game. The next part of this process is gonna be adding in some matte transitions. So Adobe Premiere Pro has some pretty basic standard transitions built into the software. When you start using and experimenting with other transitions like matte transitions, you can get more creative looks. So I actually have a pack of matte transitions on my website. These just make the transition process go a lot quicker. So let's just take a few of these. For example, let's take the glitch one, let's take the blinds right. We can take the smooth down. I'm just gonna click and drag those in to my timeline so what we're gonna do is just take any of these transitions we can use this blinds right for now and we're gonna drag it over on top of our clip right here now what I'm gonna do is drag it to video layer 3 I'm gonna take this first clip I'm gonna cut it where it lines up with this transition I'm gonna drag it up to video layer 2 I'm gonna extend it for the length of the transition and then I'm gonna drag our next clip out underneath come over here to effects go to track matte key click and drag that onto our video layer 2 clip change the matte alpha to matte luma and then select which layer the transitions on so that would be video layer 3 and now you can see we got this nice transition into the next shot hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let's try this glitch one out. This one's pretty creative. So again, what I'm gonna do is just drag it to time it up with the beat drop. Back Already. That's pretty good right there, I would say. So now that I have it lined up with the beat drop, again, I'm gonna drag it to video layer three, cut my first clip, drag it up, extend it out to match the length of this transition, drag my next clip out underneath, take a track matte key, apply it to this middle clip, change composite using to matte luma, change matte to video three, 
and now we have this glitch mat transition fight back yeah. you we stay what I might do with this is just increase the size a little bit up here under motion so it's actually a little bit less glitchy and then I can move it around uh, and customize it even more being strong was my only choice I had to fight back yeah already we stay in full attack that's for this next mat transition let's use something that's a little bit smoother so we have this one in from left I'm gonna hit command X to cut that so let's go ahead and hit command V to paste this transition drag it to video layer 3 and then we're gonna cut our first clip right here extend it out like we've been doing extend our next clip out underneath drag our track mat key onto this middle clip right here change the mat to video three change the mat alpha to mat luma you want to pick you got action you got to stand out with all that drama you can keep that shit over there loud pronto roll it up in front of i think it needs to open up just a smidge sooner so what i'm going to do is just hit command r on this transition let's speed it up to like 120 and then let's drag our top clip over to line up with the transition right here so it's like coming in with like the whoosh, and then it's gonna hit the kick drum and open up right there so it's gonna be pretty cool let's check this out now it's gonna be perfectly timed bitches i don't really care and if you want to pick you got action you gotta stand out with all that drama you can keep that shit over there loud pronto roll it up in front of. so from here what i like to do is start adding in transitions into my actual timeline using the effects built into premiere pro so in order to do this i use my blueprints pack it's a preset pack when you download it if you come over here under presets you will see the blueprints pack when you hit the drop down arrow these are all preset transitions in the pack that you can use that are just designed for these types of music videos. Let's add one of these transition presets on these clips right here and right here, right? So we got her in the stairwell and then we got her singing in the lobby. So all I need to do to apply these transition presets is just come to this cut, hold shift, go to my left once. I'm gonna make a cut right there. Hold shift, go to my right twice, make a cut right there. Click and drag over both those clips, right click, hit nest hit OK. This will combine both those cuts that we just made on either end into one sequence right here. So it's basically smooshing them together into one clip. And then what you can do is apply any of these presets on here. These presets range from more hype and exciting to more subtle and clean. So I recommend going through and experimenting with all the different types of presets to find the ones that you really enjoy using. One of my favorite ones to use is this one called Horror, which was actually added into the pack in the most recent update. This one's really cool. So Let's click and drag this one onto our clip right here. And you can see that the transition is built using a luma corrector and a directional blur, which you can actually build and customize yourself. But the reason I like using this preset pack is because all of these transitions are already built out and created. So all you gotta do is click and drag. You don't have to worry about tweaking the settings, uh, although you can if you want to, but all of it is already set and ready to go. So now when I scroll over this little transition area right here, you can see the type of transition we're gonna get. So let's play that back in full motion. Let's call out so starting at this very next clip we can add another transition so i'm gonna hold shift go to the left once cut right there hold shift go to the right twice cut right there so we have five frames on either side highlight right click hit nest hit okay for this one let's go with something that's a little bit more in your face uh, so i really like this one hype let's throw that one onto this uh, transition area as well. So up in my effects panel, I can see that this transition was created using a transform effect, some directional blur, and a luma corrector. Crazy. Promise we gonna find them old holes in LA. Yep, I had it. That one's cool, but maybe not for this part of the song. So what I'm gonna do is just hit Command Z to undo this preset off of this transition area, and then I can just simply scroll to another transition preset and try out something else. Let's try this transition preset called Shutter Blur. So let's click and drag that onto our transition area. Area. Promise we gon' find them old hoes in LA. Yep, I had it thaws up. It flows better with the song. It's not as in your face. The cool thing about these transition presets is that you can also use them on the same clip. You don't necessarily have to use them as transitions. So for example, this clip right here has a triple kick drum that hits rapidly, like boom, boom, boom. For that, I actually have a preset called kick drum, which is just perfect for these types of areas in the song. Let's add this kick drum preset. Just make an area that spans the course of those kick drum hits. What I can do is just click and drag this kick drum preset onto this area and it's going to give us this effect that works perfectly for kick drums. The spaceship, we take you out of space, smoking on the good ones, put it straight to the Just adds that little flavor in there. This next transition, I think we're going to use this one called Zoom Warp down here in the bottom left. I think this one's going to be perfect for this area of the song. So all I'm going to do for this spot in the song is start at the cut. I'm going to hold shift, go to the left five frames, hold shift, go to the right twice right there. I like right click 
nest, hit OK, and then we're going to throw this zoom warp onto this clip right here. Now this preset is actually using a lot more effects to get this transition to work. And it's taking a toll on the performance of Adobe Premiere Pro. So anytime you get a little red spot on your timeline like this, all you have to do is come to the left of it, hit I, come to the right of it, hit O, mark your in and out points, come up here to sequence and hit render into out. This is gonna render this part of the timeline so that it's a lot smoother, it doesn't play with lag. So we can actually see what the effect is gonna look like in full quality. That's actually perfect. It flows great with the song because there's that like little whoosh of air sound effect that's in the song. Jake's trying to get this fucking kid. Hoochie off white Nike man. I got Okana drip. So let's do one more transition preset. Let's do this one called Flare. It's really clean. Let's just start here at this little transition point in between both these clips. Right click on them, hit nest, hit OK. And then let's throw on this one. Where is it? Oh, Flare right here. Perfect. Uh, throw that onto our sequence. Again, we're getting that red bar right there, so I'm just gonna mark my in and out points, come up here to sequence, render in to out. And now as I scroll over it, you can see we just got a nice, kind of like a lens flare for this transition. Just really subtle, really clean. And I got Okana drip, got a model bitch. She like the way Okana shit I can. So if you're interested in trying out some of these transition presets and effects, definitely check out my blueprints pack on venturevisuals.com. Rotoscoping is just the art of cutting out objects and sliding them around on the screen. You know, making really cool, unique transitions and effects. And you have to use After Effects to do rotoscoping. So for those of you who may not have After Effects, you can still kind of get a similar effect by just using masking and freeze frame transitions, which I actually have a video on how to do those types of effects and transitions. Cut the end of this clip. I'm gonna drag it up right here. I'm gonna drag this next clip out underneath a little bit. Extend our top clip out here just so it's a little bit longer. It gives us more room to play around. And then what I'm gonna do is right click on it, hit nest, hit okay. Right click on it again replace with After Effects composition. So we're here in After Effects with our linked layer right here. And what I'm gonna do is just come up here to my Roto Brush tool, double click on this layer. And I'm just gonna do a quick outline, a quick rotoscope of the artist. You can see that once I release my tracing, After Effects guesses what I wanna have traced out. And it does a really good job. If I zoom in here, you can see it's picking up on this wall a little bit. So just by holding Option and clicking over those areas, you can tell After Effects, hey, I don't want that traced. Uh, but having a little bit of it sneak in there is not going to be a huge deal. And just by hitting 1 and 2 on my keyboard, I can scroll along the timeline. Now that I'm at the end of my timeline here, I just have to come back up here to composition. If you see this black background down here and you want to see your transparency, just come down here to toggle transparency grid. And once you click on the toggle transparency grid, you should see uh, whatever you cut out on this transparent background. We can either add effects to this rotoscope layer. We can do other things. Uh, I'm gonna keep it pretty smooth, pretty simple by just adding in a little background slide transition. So what I'm gonna do is just hit Command D on this rotoscope layer. With this background one selected, I'm gonna delete the rotoscope uh, off of that background layer. So all I'm gonna do with this background layer is hit P to change my position value. I'm gonna make a little keyframe right here. And then as it gets longer into the clip, we'll have it slide out of the bottom. So at this point in time, let's change the Y value to make this background slide out of the frame. But you see, because we have our rotoscope sitting on top of the background, the artist stays right where she was in the actual shot. And then we can hit easy ease out on our keyframe there. So the background falls out a little more gradually. And then what do we like to do? We like to turn that motion blur on over here in the left panel. So you gotta make sure you have this enables motion blur selected as well. Now you can see as the background slides out, it gets a little blurry. I'd say once the background is about here, we can slide our artist out and end this kind of like trippy look right here. So with our rotoscope layer selected with the artist, we're gonna hit P on that layer as well. We're gonna make a little keyframe under the position and then we're gonna slide her out to the left. So let's just move this layer over here to the left. And then what I'm gonna do is right click on that keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy ease out. So it goes out nice and smooth. And now we're gonna be left with this really cool background slide transition. Hit Command S, save this back into Premiere Pro. So now it's all rendered out. As I scroll over, you can see this kind of background sliding transition because we have the background separated from the artist, the background slides out, then the artist slides out. Pretty cool little trendy transition effect. I actually did a full tutorial on background 
background slide transitions if you want to learn more about how to do these types of uh, rotoscope transitions and after effects the next thing i'm going to do on my timeline is just add some flash effects which are really popular in any type of genre of music videos this clip of her on the stairs and then in the lobby area right there we're going to add a little flash in between both these clips and it just helps elevate the entire visual so what we can do is come over here to my effects i can type in luma corrector i'm going to throw this luma corrector onto this second clip right here and then i'm just going to make some keyframes over here under all these values and then i'm going to click and drag those keyframes out a couple frames and then with our scrubber here at the very first frame i can actually start to tweak these values out it's going to automatically make keyframes so we wanted to go back into the original look right here that's why i made those first keyframes and then here at the beginning is where we want the flash to be really bright so i'm just going to brighten up some of these values right here and as you can see there's a lot of different looks that you can create by using the luma corrector to get different types of flash effects so now as i scroll through here you see that this next clip starts really bright and gets a little darker Now there's other ways to create flash effects as well besides just using the luma corrector and in my preset pack blueprints i actually have a variety of different flash effects on here that i've designed all differently let's just try another flash effect from my preset pack at this spot in the timeline in between these two clips i'm gonna make a little nested sequence right there just like we were doing earlier right click on it hit nest hit okay and then let's just take another one of these little flashes in here. I like this double flash preset right here. It's actually going to hit twice. Yeah. Uh. I know I come off as a real nice cool, but you get one chance and I hope you don't lose. Let's try another flash effect out on some other clips. So by holding shift going to left here at this one and these are cool because flash effects pretty much work anywhere on the timeline you don't have to be using them on the beat drop don't always have to be using them on the hi-hats you can really be using them anywhere go crazy with these little flash presets let's try this one out sharp flash this one looks pretty pretty dope pretty clean got a little directional blur applied to this flash effect transition so let's go ahead and play this one back at full motion let's see how this one looks i'm the shit i just got it like that being shown was my only choice i had to fight back yeah the last thing i'm going to do on this edit is just add some overlays from my texture overlays pack the pack actually has 50 overlays i just updated it with some new ones and there's some really cool overlays in here this one's really cool i just made this one it's called matrix and i'm gonna throw this one onto our edit so let's just throw this into our timeline for now so it's gonna have a black background when you set it above your clip all you have to do is come over here to blend mode change the blend mode to screen and the black background is now gone. And then we can just throw this overlay somewhere on our clip. Maybe we wanna do it and combine it with this little flash effect that we just did, this little flicker effect over here. This might look cool right here, just combined with the other uh, effects we just came up with. That's so hard. I love I love how that looks. The green matches kind of like the vibe of the building too and like the outfit of the artist. So this glitch is actually really, really cool. I just threw this one in there recently as well. This glitch is also really, really nice. Got a bunch of really nice glitches in the texture overlay pack, which are great to use on these types of like trap rap edits. I also have some unique ones like this one's called Anime Zoom. Just threw this one in the last update as well. And then we have just kind of like these more cinematic ones that are meant to be like kind of uh, reminiscent of like an old film vintage style edits. Um, so there's some of that in there as well that you can just drag and drop over your footage. And then we have some overlays that are just meant to be more textures and give your videos type like different types of looks. And these overlays also help inspire a lot of my own creativity. Uh, let's go ahead and take one of these glitch ones and throw one of these glitch ones onto the timeline. This one's really nice, glitch number three. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing we did for the last overlay is just change the screen, the blending mode to screen. If you don't like this particular look right here, you can change the overlay blend mode to any other style that's available and you can get completely different styles and looks. Cool, this lighter color one is actually pretty sick. I like how that's looking. There's also a bunch of overlays included in the blueprints pack as well. And I just updated these overlays recently too. Take this one called Static Glitch and this one called Everything in Time. And let's throw those onto our timeline. Let's click and drag them onto our timeline right here. Let's throw this like first glitch somewhere. This this one is like a white glitch, doesn't have any color to it. So it's a little different. Let's just throw this one in between these two clips see what it looks like Thank you, man i got kind of drip got a model bitch she like the whip. i like it i think it just needs to end a little sooner so let's just 
clip it in a little bit. Got a kind of drip, got a model bitch. She like the wheel kind of shit I came up with. This other one is a little more creative. This one's called Everything in Time. It looks really cool. Let's try it. Let's try it right there, actually. Let's see what that looks like as more of like a transition. But I'm always keep the peace. I don't want to lay up. I'm a pull back, shoot a tank in your face. So I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of the process I go through when I'm editing these types of rap trap music videos. Whenever you're editing a video, doesn't matter if it's two minutes, doesn't matter if it's five minutes, it can take hours, days, weeks to edit and finish those edits. So I'm definitely gonna be spending a little bit more time on this edit and making it as smooth and as clean as possible. I'm gonna be adding some more effects and transitions in there using some of my preset packs. And I think it's gonna come together really well. Once the video is out, I'll make sure to include it in the description down below if you wanna check it out. Shout out to Slay, the artist who sent me all of this footage, really cool footage, really easy to edit, and the process has just been great. If you're interested in getting your own videos featured on my channel, DM me on Instagram at Venture Visuals and we can chop it up. And if you're interested in saucing up your video edits today, definitely check out my website, VentureVisuals.com. I got a free pack on there where you can sample every product completely free of charge and start making your next edits look even more dope. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely check out the links down below. Comment below any video tutorial ideas you wanna see from me. And until next time, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Jake Benner. Peace out.